Okay, people are worried again that I haven't posted in a while, so here it is. This is what I've been up to. Uh, you'll notice that the electrolyzer tank, the new clear acrylic electrolyzer tank, is complete. And I have it attached to a small bubbler and to the HHometer. Connected to the power, or the power is being supplied by the pulse width modulator from the VS50M. And I want to bring you in a little closer and show you some of the details of the new electrolyzer. I want you to pay close attention right now to the way the lead-in straps or the conductor straps for the plus and minus that go down to the cell from the top terminals are bolted tightly together inside the cell. If you'll notice, okay, I have it nutted with a lock washer directly to the head of the bolt that goes through. This allows me to make a very, very tight, tight bond to the uh, stainless steel that conducts the power down to the plate stack. This is very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. I cringe every time I see somebody use a crimp terminal and copper wire inside a cell. It will corrode. It will develop resistance. It will arc. It will go kaboom. Please do not ever use a crimp terminal with copper wire inside a cell. Period. The end. All right. Underneath the lid, you can see how I have large stainless steel flat washers that distribute the pressure that seals the studs as they go through. I have uh, smeared them, uh, some goop around the threads before I passed it through. That seals the, uh, the bolts to the edge of the holes and then you have nuts and lock washers and then wing, wing nuts to hold the battery terminals down. Okay. You see the classic blowout membrane with the removable collet so that I can uh, change the plastic and use this as also my, my filler opening for the cell or drain, whatever. And of course the right angle barbed fitting for the, out, the gas outlet. In a brute force electrolysis condition, I've measured the efficiency of the new cell with the baffle plates. You can see, I'll move in a little closer here. All right, you get a pretty good view of the baffle plates, which limits the exposure of the plates in solution, the exposure of the edges of the plates in solution, and limits the amount of leakage current that jumps across the stack. And that efficiency rating happens to be whether the cell is cold or hot, whether I'm putting a small amount of current into it or a large amount of current into it. I was quite surprised that none of those uh, external factors had any effect on the efficiency of the cell. It was 5.4 milliliters per minute per watt input plus or minus 0 0.03 mmw, which is a pretty good, uh, very nice small margin of error. Now, I'm going to put 14.6 volts DC brute force into this cell right now. And cold, with the concentration of electrolyte that I have in here right now, the cell will draw about 20 amps on startup and produce about 1.7 liters per minute. And I just want you to see this start up. One, two, three, go. Just get a load of the turbulence at the top of the cell and how much how much flow there was coming out of that plate stack the moment that I started it up. Not only that, but how even the flow was across the entire stack of plates, which is a good, good indicator that the amount of leakage current that's passing from jumping from plate to plate is very small because I've limited the amount of uh, edge surface or the amount of edges that are exposed in solution that can allow that current to pass between the, um, the plates inside the stack. The one thing that I do need to do here is someplace around here laying across the top of the terminals, I want to put some kind of material that extends all the way to the edge of the container 
to dissipate the foam and prevent it from reaching all the way up to the barbed fitting at the top and pushing foam out and down the, tu uh, down the tube. I notice uh, just above the electrode straps it tends to break apart the bubbles. So just having something intervene in between in between the liquid and the and the outlet should be enough to cut to break up the the foaming action and prevent loss of electrolyte in the way of foam pumping down out through the out the tube and potentially into the engine which is what we do not want also want to mention that you'll notice I've I've unwrapped the 14 gauge insulated wire from around the cell I wanted to put this back into service right away I am going to be conducting those same experiments that I had intended for this cell on the smaller five plate stack with smaller gauge magnetic wire on an experimental basis rather than trying to adapt it to a production cell which I want to have in, in the vehicle and producing gas uh, and taking mileage, you know, running mileage tests, etc. right now. Uh, let me just show you real quick if you've just as a refresher this is the cell it is five plates it is a parallel design and I'll also be uh, testing the uh, pulse width modulator circuit on the spiral spiral plate cell which people have been asking about that is also right here okay so none of these projects are dead folks just um, one guy and I only have time to do so much um, I've also been playing with a dry cell that has been sent to me. I'll be taking, running some tests on that, and I'll be bringing it with me at the Jarbo's Mill Alternate Energy Conference in Charlotte Hall, Maryland, this weekend, June 28th and 29th. Uh, they are, it is an all-day event. There, there is no registration fee for exhibitors or for the public. And I will be going around with my video camera and hopefully a cameraman and interviewing the attendees, hooking up my flow meter, my HHometer, to their devices with a clamp-on DC ammeter and a voltmeter, and hopefully doing some on-the-fly production tests of some of the some of the um, HHO generators that I hope to be exhibited there, and I hope that they will dare let me take these measurements and post them on YouTube. And that's about all I can say for now. The, uh, the cell that we will be uh, exhibiting there is uh, a prototype unit from a group of builders that I happen to know and be associated with. We're pretty excited about this device that we will be showing. It is a, it is a monster. It is a, it is a monster producer in terms of HHO gas and very very efficient so I hope you'll come out and I hope you will uh, come and see the device that we will be displaying as well it's going to be a lot of fun if you have any questions about anything that you've seen in any of my videos go to alt-nrg.org this is the bag I'll be carrying with me I've got uh, a DC cell in there with an AC inverter and my little power supply to keep my uh, video camera charged up. I will have a tripod and hopefully a cameraman in tow. Yours truly at this event will be revealing his face for the first time. And I will be on camera and I will be interviewing the attendees. So please come and say hi and I hope to see you there.